What is up y'all, it's Joelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something that I have never done before on this channel. And that is a 30 day fitness challenge. I was a dancer for a lot of high school and college and I was always really embarrassed that whenever anyone wants someone to drop into a split, that could not be me. I've always been like the least flexible of all my friends, of my siblings. So today we're gonna try to make that change by stretching like Olympic gymnasts for 30 days. Sean Johnson, aka one of the Golden Girl Olympic female gymnasts of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, has posted the US national warm up routine on her YouTube channel and it's on her website. So I'm challenging myself and dragging my boyfriend Sean into attempting to do this routine, this stretch routine, for 30 days straight. I am very excited to see who by the end of these 30 days will have improved the most in our flexibility because right now we are not there. So if you're like me and you've wanted to be flexible your entire life but have never actually taken the initiative to do anything about it, follow along and see how it goes for us. I am about to start day one. Why am I doing this? Uh, a couple of reasons. Joelle obviously wanted to do something. It's a nice uh, long distance activity for us to do together. But also I've always been really bad in terms of my flexibility. To put in perspective, in high school and middle school, we had to take this like standardized fitness test and flexibility is one of the sections. And every year I failed. If I could do the thing where I like go to touch my toes, but then put my whole palm on the ground, I think that would be a goal. I don't know if you can get that far in 30 days. Who do you think is gonna make more progress? By far me. Sean Johnson, she didn't give times for how long she does each exercise, so we just did each stretch for about a minute, which resulted in these stretches taking 45 minutes to an hour, give or take, every night. And I realized that a lot of these stretches, it's really not just stretching. It requires a lot of like muscle engagement and balance, which makes doing the actual stretches hard because I'm just weak. Well, today is day eight. I should have probably filmed this update yesterday because yesterday was the first day that I could touch my toes. My period just started, so the last thing I want to do right now is stretch and move around a lot. I think because this is one thing that I have to deal with that Sean doesn't, I'm gonna give myself a break. Day 14 of the challenge, and look who's here! We can now stretch in the same place for the next week. You ready for these stretches? I honestly really don't want to do them. Like I'd rather just go to bed right now, but we're both here, so we have Dude, after to like stretch. The fourth day or the fifth day, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. We said we were gonna do it, so we're going to do it. I know it sounds like Sean and I just aren't doing our stretches ever, but after a while, we definitely got into the swing of doing our stretches every single night, and I'd normally watch some TV or listen to a podcast while doing it. I will say there were definitely times when it was particularly challenging after a late night of working or whatever to have to stay up an extra hour to stretch, but overall, it was a really nice way to unwind and get ready for bed. Alrighty y'all, it is the moment of truth. It has now been 30 days of stretching and Sean and I are about to look at the results of the before and after photos of our stretching abilities. Sean, do you feel like you improved in your stretching abilities over this month? It, uh, it depends on the stretch, but I think so. I, I want to say I have two, but I still can't do a split. <laughs> you guys are going to see that. Um, anyways, let's just look at a little slideshow. So my pike is a little better. This is big. Yeah, I went from like, what is that? Like two inches off the ground to at least touching the ground. I definitely got more flexible. I just quads. realized I'm wearing the same outfit. I felt like I was getting more flexible in my quads, but. Well, it looks like your right quad did. Out. Lunge looks literally the same. Okay, did, I think this your one knee, did improve a little bit. So your knee and your back knee is now under your butt and not in front oh. of your butt. Oh, okay, this, this was a little better. I will say. The splits were never gonna happen for me. My split also didn't improve, which is sad because that was literally my goal for this whole month. After hours of stretching. Okay, the back bends, the, the bridges got easier where I could hold it for longer. This is where the pictures don't do the justice that the, a, a video would show. So when I first started, I could barely like get into it and I collapse immediately. By the end, I, I was holding hold it. it for like 20 seconds. Yes. It looks like I have a non-existent booty. So that was all of our stretches. You guys can laugh at us for how little we improved, but I think this is a testament to how much work it takes to improve your flexibility. My hypothesis is that you need like weights and you need to be like actually in pain with someone pressing down on you or pulling you or something to improve in your flexibility. I think part of it is also we did, I did a lot of these stretches cold. Sean, did you think you'll continue these stretches? I want to say yes, but I know the answer is no. I will likely stretch more after working out. I think I will do the same. I will keep working on trying to do a split because 
sad. Oh, thanks guys for watching our stretch challenge. Let us know if you try the same thing and if you see better, more improvement than we do. And this just made me appreciate all the gymnasts and figure skaters and ballerinas that put in their work. Good luck. Peace.